I should premiership footballers anyway, my front room. Mm. But I'm not a football fan. I don't know what offside is, bro. There's been times where I've been in dark holes, bro. It's not mm. always been la di da and kaching. It's been, mm. there's been times where I've been in dark holes. I go, you're a brother, I was talking to him, he goes, bro, I'd love to pray, but I can't, bro. I can't pray for, it's like, his phone, 400 and something. I said, huh? He goes, 40 days, isn't it? Every time I have a split, it's add 40 days on. I go, what the fuck? What? I go, <laughs> that goes back to what I was saying about praying. It's almost like praying, bro. Bro, don't, don't be their friend, bro. Don't be their friend. It must sound harsh, bro. You might, oh, it sounds raw, bro. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you're, you're saying it raw. You're saying yeah, it raw, bro. You're yeah. praying, bro. You're out of my list, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to Cashflow Convos. Today we are here in the city of Birmingham with a brother, Kamran Arif, the CEO of the Lime Tree Clinic. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Yeah, we're good. Thanks for having me on. Barakallah I appreciate your kind words. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate your effort for coming down, inshallah. Appreciate you coming on, man. Allah make it a success. Inshallah. And keep us on CNI efforts and how it works. I mean. Yeah, inshallah, man. Um, I first come across you um, through Pogba's page, actually. Oh, subhanAllah. Um, so, yeah, um, just tell us a bit about how that kind of started relationship. With Pogs, uh, alhamdulillah, the nature of my work, as you know, I work a lot with the athletes and the footballers and the so-called celebrities, as they call them. Mm. So, alhamdulillah, just, just be connected and become brothers, alhamdulillah. Same with all of them. I've got a good relationship with all my, whether it's a normal person off the streets or whether it's someone who's in the football or very famous, it don't really bother me. It just keeps me same the way I am. Like, you yeah, see yeah. me, I'm, I go like this, I go different, I just, I, I change, I don't change, like, you know, with... with Whatever direction Allah takes me in, I should give shukr and I keep going and I keep traveling, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Pug is good, alhamdulillah. She had another child as well. She had another baby. Oh, right. Two days ago, another child, good, alhamdulillah. He's got three boys now, so he's doing well. Yeah, yeah. He's that's doing good, well. Sure. Another football team before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no, I'm a United fan, so I've been. Oh, like, United fan, yeah. Yeah, so I've been following it, and uh, inshallah, they win today. So they play yeah, they got today. a game with City, you said it? City, yeah, inshallah. So yeah. They don't think they win, though, to be honest. They're not. <laughs> I mean, i got a lot of good friends who play for United, like yeah, Sancho, yeah. he's a good, good mate of mine, but. Uh, Sorry, lads. Yeah, the result will be out when when this podcast out. The result we'll will be out. We'll find out. We'll tune in afterwards. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, we'll tune in afterwards. <laughs> so we're based in Lime Tree Clinic at the moment. So yeah, what got you into copying? I'm the son of the Prophet. The son of the Prophet was very, very important. When I was young, I was living a bit of a wild life. Very wild life to a point where I was very lost. There was no direction in life, you know. You know, you can only find peace and remembrance in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can only find the khair. I remember once when I went to Hajj, I made a dua. This one dua that I made to Allah. I said, Ya yeah, Allah, said, oh Allah, give me this good in Islam. Give me risks with risk within the sunnah and whatever work I do, let me take it across the world. Am I not doing that today? I'm doing it, innit? Yeah. Your du'as come true. Alhamdulillah. He put, and that was 12, 13, maybe 14 years ago. I never forget that du'a. I said, Ya Allah, give me work within Islam, work within the sunnah, and let me take it far and wide. I do that today, innit? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, no, I feel like that's the, yeah, that's the best thing, man. I feel like when you make du'a, I feel like that kind of, you know. Opens yeah. a different different, different level. Yeah, yeah. Every du'a comes true, so it's a matter of time of when you, when you want. Yeah. When you want. But generally, Alhamdulillah, Helping the people doing your bit, alhamdulillah, you know, it's, it's amazing, it's good, alhamdulillah. It's good, it's good. It was a, when I first started doing it, people didn't really know much about copying, people think I'm stupid. Mm. People in the local message thought I'm stupid. They thought, you know, the Bawe. Yeah, yeah. The Bawe, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. That's why the Bawe, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I mean, these are ulama, scholars. These are scholars. No ilm of the deen. I'm showing them hadith and look, to the Prophet said. Now, after we've got a pain, then they come to you in it. That's when they need you in it. Yeah, definitely, man. SubhanAllah. So, how did you come up with it? How did you learn it? And his proper courses, I've been to Dr. Ron Suleiman, ICAT Clinic, um, he was, he's, he still is the main guy in the whole UK of teaching people, alhamdulillah. So Dr. Ron Suleiman, ICAT, I started to call him, even though I was doing it before, he, I'd done the course with him, but to excel and perfect my skills, I've done it with Dr. Ron Suleiman. I recommend everyone to go through him as a means whenever I tell us anyone for there, even though we've got our own courses coming, inshallah, this year, so look out guys, elite former therapy courses coming out this year, inshallah, so that will change the game, but yeah, it's different. So yeah. you're doing your own courses as well? We're setting up our own structure, basically, because I'm a CEO and the founder of Elite Performance Therapy. A lot of people ascribe to Elite Performance Therapy, but it's not theirs, it's mine. All due respect, and they know it is. Yeah. Don't want to sound like harsh and cold, but guys, come on. Ask me, Bismillah, come and join. Don't take credit for something that's not yours, man. Elite Performance Therapy is mine. Simple as that. Yeah. Might sound raw, might sound harsh, might sound arrogant. Those know me, I'm not an arrogant guy. Yeah. Elite Performance Therapy is founded by me. Dr. Rizwan will even tell you it's founded by me. Yeah. The main people who are in the field, or in the world, will tell you if it's funny by me. Alhamdulillah, after a lot of hard work. So why I'm getting a bit sticky and a bit harsh and a bit like, whoa. Because people are there, it's like, you're cash flow combos. And then 10 minutes down the road, you've got someone saying, yeah, I'm cash flow combos. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. How much can a man bite his tongue, bruv? But I'm a firm believer in Allah and his messenger, and I, and I follow that way, alhamdulillah. And I bite my tongue for my fellow believers and my, my people, but give credit where it's due, bruv. Yeah, that's give it. Give credit where it's due. Like, you look all over social media. People splat my work everywhere, alhamdulillah. Use it, or praise Allah. Yeah. But give credit where he's doing it. Give credit. As soon definitely. as you ask me about copying, who do I give credit to? Doctor Ron, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. Straight away I mentioned, I got clean. Why? Because credit was where it's due. Huck is huck. Yeah. I didn't take it away from him. Mm. Yes, I did copying before, I was doing it with Doctor Ron. 
but I showed like love and honor and take my hat off to him and say, Doctor Zwan, he's my teacher, he's my start. Why? Because credit is due where it's due. So when people go down that path, it takes me a bit of a forget all that anyway, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bismillah. Yeah. So how, how do you do with stuff like that? So if someone like let's say you know takes your concept stuff like that, bro, if I'm, I'm I'm used to it now. To be fair, I'm at that point now. I'm used to. It. I'm, I've got one golden rule. My mum was taught me, and it's from the Sunnah as well. Yeah. Or sleep with a clean heart. Sleep with a with a heart when you're clean. Sleep or you forgive everybody. Definitely. Because ultimately we need forgiveness ourselves, bro. You know we do things ourselves. That you know where people you know. So I always make dua for the people. I always sleep with them. Whatever bad has happened to me, I make two rakat. Mm. And I say, Ya Allah, I said, just purify my heart towards these people, towards anyone who's wronged me. I bite my tongue, I do my own thing. Everyone knows me. People on social media think I live a crazy life. Yeah. I don't, Akhi. I live a very simple life. You're in my main base. This is your only lunch around right now. This is where it all started. Well, from a garden shed first, then my front room, and then here. Yeah. But this is, that's what the first base, main lunch clinic. It's, it's, not, it's not Mayfair, bro. It's yeah. Alan Rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not Mayfair, it's Alan Rock. And yeah. people just don't yeah. understand this. People on social media think I live this crazy life. I don't, bro. Yes, everyone likes the finer stuff in life. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. But to me, don't bother me. I'm quite content because I got different plans. I don't want to be here yeah. no more. I want to move back home, separate. But we'll get into that, inshallah. Yeah. And you know, I'm a family man. Kids, I live not far. A couple of houses down. Alhamdulillah, I live on the road as well. My yeah. mosque is down the road. The big supermarket next door. That's where I shop. It's convenient. Everything's, Everything's local. local. Bro, I don't yeah. drive. Bro, I don't drive that much. Yeah. Only when I work in money in London, which is once a week. And obviously, when I'm at the country from work, I travel. So generally, alhamdulillah, it's not really. It's not too deep. People just think I, got, I live this crazy life. I don't, bro. I live a very simple life. Trust me. Yeah, so tell us, tell us a bit about your uh, childhood. So I know you born and raised Alam Rock, is it? I know, born and <sighs> childhood, yeah, it's, it's yeah. one of them ones, and it? it's, it's, it's uh, hence why I made that for Allah to get me out of all the madness. Yeah. I made that so when I came to the dinner, I realized that there's only one way, and it was it was crazy, it was crazy. Young, fighting, messing around, just like normal kids, that normal kids do. Mm. Sometimes going into more serious crimes, sometimes not. You know, but Allah takes you out, innit? Yeah, you know, definitely. when you're involved in that, that life, my brother, when you're involved in the haram, your soul can only take so much. Mm. You look up in the stars and you'll be crying to Allah, Yallah, take me out of it. There's no real friends in that life as well. There's no friends in that life. So any of you young brothers who are into that at the moment, they're not your friends, bro. Because Allah has no Quran. And there's a hadith about it as well. Good to see that towards the end of time, then on Yom Al-Qiyamah, then very friends will be pointing the fingers saying, it was your fault. Best friends will turn on each other and be pointing fingers and saying, it was your fault. It was you who led me to this destruction. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine that. If they weigh you in the dunya for about 30 quid, 40 quid, imagine what they do to you in the Akira. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you've got to look at the reality of where life is taking you. Definitely. And where your path is and where your journey is. I thank Allah, alhamdulillah, man, oh, we've got good companions around me now, good friends around me. A lot of my friends from Jahaliyyah have come into the deen as well. So, alhamdulillah, we're all in the deen together. We all pray together. Look, if no one, if it's not praying, I don't chill with them, I'll be straight with you. If you don't pray, I don't chill with you. It might sound raw. Might, even down to a football level, ask any of the so called, like any Muslim football, because I work a lot of Muslim football as well. Yeah. Even with the, with the, with the, with the, it might sound raving, like with Muslim footballers. Ask them first, look, do you pray? People say, you might come, you might lose a contract. Allah provides. So mm. comes first. Because yeah. I work like Italy, Spain, Paris, I work all over the world. And it's got to be a mushroom close by for me. Mm. If I'm staying for two, three days, I want there to be mushroom for Juma. Yeah. You know, I want, I want, I want, I want, I've gone to some players' houses and they've got dogs running around. So listen, we're men of, we're men of Salah, we pray. Mm. We can't have all that, you know. And people yeah. say, Can you do some raving ones? They say, Nah, man. Allah puts brother when you lock. Allah will put khair when you're the truth. Allah will always put brother and put khair over you when you speak the truth. When you try and sell yourself out, they'll lose respect for you. Mm. Lose respect. I'll give you a quick one before what happened when I first listen. Um, I can't mention the team. And like the club manager because he's a good friend of mine now. but he remember this and if he's watching I'll send him the link actually watch this <laughs> <laughs> we went for a football contract I'll never forget this subhanAllah we went for a football contract and um, it was a Juma the first yeah. football contract was with the football club and he went with the club it was just to propose the idea to a club and this was very rare we do this and I got a friend of mine and I'll just I'm going to change the terminology because his name was something else but he tried something else yeah. so let's just say Samir yeah. now his name is Samir Allah's honored him with a beautiful name Samir Samir al-Basir, there's so much beautiful Arabic words of Samir in the Quran, Samir, how many things he mentioned Samir. He got the car, and I remember I was just, it was a Friday, it was Juba, and then in winter, it was like Namaz is close, I said it was close, mm. like an hour, hour and a half difference. And he goes to me, he goes, Cam, do me a favor, call me Sam. <laughs> Sam. Dallanati <laughs> Sam, Maro Bef Kufa. I knew he sold that straight away, bro. Mm. He goes, Cam, come on, can't you go home and get changed? You can't go to a football club like this. I said, listen, my brother, we are who we are, we don't change. Mm. We keep it 100 to ourselves, Alhamdulillah. We don't put no barrier and we don't put no false facade on. Yeah, you got to you know, be true to yourself. You got to be true to yourself, bro. You think I'll respect for yourself. You, respect, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So I got, got, to the, got to the football where now we're talking, and my friend who owns the club was a Catholic, he was a good friend of mine, and he's a staunch Catholic. He looked at me and he goes, uh, All right, he's looking at me. I was like, Give me two minutes. I flipped my compass. It's time for us, bro. I'm not going to miss my salah for nobody. Mm. The whole football team's there, bro. I was grass, clean land, took my jacket, I walked on the floor, prayed my two o'clock I was traveling, the half my salah I was traveling. Went straight there, prayed it, and the, the whole club just looked at me, the teams looked at me, just like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, 
I never forget. And then as I've done my salam, I've got my cup. The owner looked at Sam and he goes, Sam, what's your real name? Sam, it's Sam. He goes, no, 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 no. What's your real name? <laughs> because he knew he's not Sam. <laughs> he knew that Sam. He sold out. He knew that Sam. He goes, come on. He goes, you're not Sam. I look at your face. He goes, you look at your face. You're not Sam. This is an opera on brothers. I'm a safe. This is a safe. I'm not a rock. Come on, man. Yeah. Sam. You know what I mean? Behave yourself, man. Okay. So I'm me saying, my name's Cameron. My name's Cameron. Muhammad Cameron. Yeah. Muhammad Cameron. Arif. Not Cameron. It's not spelled with, with K. Cameron. I'm Cameron. Muhammad Cameron. Mm. That's my name. Not uh, uh, Mo Cameron. Yeah. Why change? Why sell yourself out? But that's what these men do. Mm. So he's got there. He's gone. Oh, now nah. he's gone. Sam. You haven't got enough courage to say your own name. This guy's got. This guy's. This guy's brave enough to be true to his own religion. Cam, you got the job. Sam, get out of here. Look at that. And look at Allah gives you Isa through what? Through your deen. Mm. Allah honors you through your religion. Allah gives you Isa through your deen. And Wallah Lazim, when you're true to your deen, even the non Muslims will have to give you that respect. But when you sell out, when you sell your deen out, they lose that respect for you. They laugh at you. Yeah. They laugh at you, bro. They laugh at you. Yeah. You don't have to sit in a pub and have a pint with them because you have to really. No, you don't. You be true to your No, I don't drink. It's not my whole. You got to be honest to yourself, bro. Yeah, you got to be honest. Yeah. Bro, I've been around people on millionaires, bro. I tell you, man, you make four, five hundred grand a week, bro. Their lifestyle is different, bro. When I go to these countries, I'm gonna stay with these people. They live a different life, bro. I've got a chance to go and do that, but I don't. Why? Because I'm Muslim. Yeah. I'm a Muslim. I've got brothers who say to me, "Come, come, come, you're out right, the country. No one know. Allah knows." And I've had football professional footballers who become become Muslim because of that. I can't mention their names because obviously they're not. They're not and the day when they inshallah open up themselves and say, "You know what? I'm double Muslim." Then we'll talk about it further. I'll, do, I'll probably get you guys in the castle with them and say, oh, yeah. explain yeah. your story. Yeah. They've built a masjid in the house, they're praying, they become Muslim. Why? Because they like the quality of the haq, of the truth. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Ultimately, everything yeah. runs back. For me, everything ultimately runs back to the deen. Of Allah. That's what I want to live for. This stuff don't mean nothing to me. Wallah, look where I am. I mean, I'm not, bro. Hmm. You look at my portfolio, I'm, I'm a social, you think I'm where? I'm in Mayfield or something, you think I'm somewhere? You've seen it, people, normal yes. people coming in there. Yeah, normal yeah. people. Normal yeah. people come in public, I work with everyone, you got my number direct. Normal, I might yeah. take the mic on the phone, you know what I mean? But, yeah. I've got no receptionist, I've got nothing now. Because of why? Because there's a so called saying, you'd be true to yourself. So you work on your own, yeah? You can't. I'm a one man have man no bro. colleagues. No workers. I've, I've had colleagues, I've had workers, but then I've realized when it comes to business, always do it yourself, bro. Don't mix no more business, bro. It mm. becomes a big problem, bro. It becomes a big problem, bro. Never do business with nobody, bro. That's my, my personal preference. Whether it's having a cup of tea, whether it's your opening, whatever, bro, when it comes to business, if you are, then do it according to the Sunnah. Sit down and talk to each other about everything. I'll give examples of two of you now, two, uh, you two are brothers, mashallah, you're doing your thing. It comes, ultimately, comes to the business. Mm. Inshallah, may the process for you. Discuss it with you. Know where you both stand. Explain, make mashallah. Yeah. Make sure with each other. This is what we miss out. We don't make mashallah. Yeah. The barakat of making mashallah with somebody, bro, it's beautiful. When you go on a journey, one, two, 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 more than two, three people, it should be in the mirror. You know, it links back to the deen. Everything goes back to the religion. It goes back to the deen. As, as Islam is not just a religion, it's a lifestyle, bro. It's a full lifestyle. Mm. So, alhamdulillah, for me, business is as to do yourself. You try. Alhamdulillah, it worked. Alhamdulillah, it doesn't work. Alhamdulillah. No, you can't blame it. No one, no one can blame yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You tried your best in it. Definitely. Never give up, bro. Keep trying, bro. Look at Abu Joe. Don't listen to people. Oh, yeah, they will throw you off a cliff. You so called friends. Don't tell them nothing. Yeah. Like, you man's are doing this now. Just keep doing it. Bro, I get a lot of, <laughs> lot of people who come who say things about me. They think I don't know, bro. Yeah, they yeah. think I'm stupid. If I want, I'll put my call, bro. But, God, I'm going to get out of that, bro. Yeah. I'm going to get out of that. I know exactly who they are, bro. I know exactly who they are. I'll expose them. Cause some people you can see the malice in their face, bro. Yeah. yeah. So sitting there. There's one guy, subhanAllah, Azim, Allahu Akbar, and uh, he's a local brother. May Allah bless him. And if he's watching, may Allah guide you, bro. You know what I mean? I've got love for him. He's a practicing brother. This one, bro, let's say, for example, you're sitting there, bro. I've never seen nobody like this in my life, you know, Akhi. Let's say you're sitting there and, you, and you, 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 got a, you got something nice going on. This guy's face, he like this, I show the camera, he goes, you can't, con you can't contain it, bro. Oh, this guy, this, that's how bad it is. I actually feel like saying to you, making much sense, brother, you need to skia. You need, you need to go see a sheikh, get some purification. <laughs> you need to ski, you need purification. Yeah. You need some, some afkar to, to purify, bro. The guy, is a, his face called this. Red. Oh, right. Imagine what's going on inside. That's outside, imagine what's going on inside. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. I know one of my family members, and uh, these are from back home, back in the days, and I was a kid, and I remember this. This is a bad, the evil eye exists, bro. The eye exists, man, the evil eye exists. That's why you got to do your afkar. Mm. You're at the course, you're, you're, you're manzir al muhad you got to protect yourself from this, because people will throw you under a bus. Mm. Nazar is real, bro, it'll kill you. And um, I remember once uh, in, in, in Pakistan, we finished our house in Pakistan and we had a rose bush there, you know, a Glabana pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one family member, bro, looked at the pool and goes, Eta bara khubsuda pula. Bro, we came back out there, it's died, bro. No way. So that's All the thorns fell off the thing, bro. Bad. A fresh rose fell, <laughs> the thorns fell off, bro. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. 
Tak masih nengai gigi kula, masih putih lah ni bro. Hunter poli poli jauh. That's why you gotta hide it. The problem is to hide your blessings, man. There's no one happy out there for you. Protect yourself. Hide your burger. Hide your blessings. Hide what you're doing well, and just let the success do the noise. And keep on smashing your thing. Keep like when I first started working with footballers, nobody believed me, bro. First one was the first big break for me was probably Anthony. I used to have, I used to have Premiership footballs anyway in my front room, hmm. but I'm not a football fan. I don't know what offside is, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I ain't got a clue what I said. I brought my brother to to a game and and Ronaldo scored. My new uh, Ronaldo Ran- and he was outside. I jumped up, yeah, because like Ronaldo. <laughs> and everyone, all, the, all the people kept me in the crowd. I was like, dude, I don't know what I said. He's after he scored. <laughs> <laughs> I've got up in the crowd, bro. Yeah, and everyone's like, the guy next to me. I looked at my my brother and he goes, sit down, man. He goes, I'm not a football fan. Yeah. How did you get all these footballers then? Aki, well, I don't even know, man. It just happened, man. All praise to Allah, man. Alhamdulillah. Just, I used to have Premiership football. The first football that ever came to my house yeah. was a was a football. He's probably watch, he's probably gonna watch this on my social. Man, I bless him. Suleiman Dukara used to play for Leeds United. Okay. He's the yeah, first yeah. ever football that come to me. And I remember he come. All I knew is it's a crap team, bro. That's all. He was supposed to lose, man. Come on, Barcelona, this stuff, this different. You know the big teams. Yeah, big teams. Man, man City, yeah, yeah. Liverpool, Arsenal. You hear these clubs and you think, wow. You think of like PSG. You think of these clubs and they're naturally like, even not, as someone who's not a football fan, you know that you know what? Wow, football. You just know. You just yeah. know. Everyone knows the Messi's. Everyone knows the Ronaldo's. If you're not a football fan, you know. You know what I mean? But with my man, yeah, obviously he's come now and, and he's gone. Yeah, the lead. I said, eh, what an ugly team. Like you know, basically beep, what a Poo team, who supposed that? <laughs> and he goes, uh, bro, brother, I play for him. I thought, okay, play for him. He's there in Marossi. <laughs> He's laid on the bed. I used to work from my house in my front room, just here for us, and I used to work from my front room, bro. Yeah. He laid on the bed. I thought, what's Google's keys there? Bro, it's a blue tick on the gram. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, the man's got a couple hundred thousand followers. He's a sort of Legion United player, bro. I used to play for Monaco. Man, oh, 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 man, I'm never done with this before you get me. I'm used to roll man's coming from the block, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, I was talking to Spliffin to get, get, get detox. That kind of stuff. Yeah. That kind of man's. And um, subhanAllah, you know, it was. Um, I just took him off from there and then just kept building him. But um, I had a big break off. I can't mention names because the contract closes, but you're all going to know who it is anyway. But I'm not breaking no legal barrier by saying, saying, giving you a hint. It was a big football manager and he goes uh, in Scotland. I used to have a lot of um, my grandma used to have this done. He's seen Suleiman uh, and one of the other brothers with the marks and said, mm-hmm. He goes, Can you give me the kid's number? And what happened then was my bro, subhanAllah, I remember I thought, What if it is him? I got the call. I thought, Either I rent out a room in town, pay yeah. 60 quid. What do I do, 60 quid? Or bring the mm. rock. Come on, bro. I rent my mate's clinic out in 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 t- town. He does like um he does like osteopathy. He does like like recovery. You know the, the tanks, the recovery tanks. So you do like the swimming for yeah. people come out of hospital on the like, army wounds and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Good mate, man. He's gonna come. All the best with your so-called person. Here's the keys. Here's the code. Lock up before you go. It was a two o'clock appointment, bro. I waited two black jaguars park up. Changed the game, bro. It was him, bro. He's a knight. He's knighted as well. I give it. He's knighted as well. Old school football. Oh school, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. <laughs> Change the game, brother. Change the game. No way, that's crazy. Still a very man. good friend of mine to this day. So was it? A very good friend of mine to this day. So that that was straight away after the Legion Night player. That was after the Legion Night about, about two two and a half three weeks afterwards because then he, he he come and then he had the marks and then he spoke to him. But in the world of football, the word spreads. Mm, the yeah. word spreads. You become the man in that field. You become the man in that field. Yeah. Now in the in, in the world of football, I'm the old all from Monaco to Leeds to Leeds to to, to you name all of the world, man. I'm the lot into NFL to boxing. I've covered all. Then I've Anthony Joshua. I don't know if you, with, with Anthony Joshua, you can even YouTube, the YouTube, now it comes up on, on, on the newspaper to put in the papers. Mm. So Joshua went live. He, I, I, went, to, I went to see Joshua in, uh, uh, in um, oh, what's the name of the area? Where does he live? Golders, Golders Green? Golders Green? Is it, is, is it, that's London, in, is it? London, so Golders Green. That's where he lives, Golders Green. So it's oh, around right. that area. So I forgot the name of the actual main. So you went to him, yeah? I went to him. Yeah. And uh, I don't even remember how it happened. It all fell in place. I went to him and I thought, oh, that's when he was really blowing up. Joshua was blowing up yeah. before the Klitschko fight, bro. Before the Klitschko. So this oh, is before yeah. the World Championship fight. He had this fight. He had this thing. And it's actually the videos on my. If you go on my social media, my Instagram, scroll all the way down, you'll see the video where he's, he's talking. Yeah. I'm shy. That's, I'm not like, used to these cameras, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And he's coming. He's talking about copying therapy. He's like, oh, about, about copying, about this, about that, about this. And next, you know, he's gone and he's gone. I'll oh, come in the camera. He's putting the camera. And you can see in the camera. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like dead shy. I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know, what's what's going on here? And uh, that went viral. That went viral because like Joshua, that just went viral, like you know, like that's my Joshua, isn't poof, it? Anthony Joshua born is live. He had about yeah, seven, eight thousand people live on his feed. You got me. They got the press everyone landing through. You got him. All the local as watching his Instagram live, and you got my face there. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Local, yeah. local. Because people didn't believe. Because you know, people never help you. God goes back to the Remember, going back to what we were saying before, and um, he goes. I remember I told a so-called friend. This what so-called friends for you, bro. I remember I go, bro. You know that Joshua guy? I go, um, I go. He told me to come to the company. He goes, ah, I'm telling him my Customer is telling the guy. He goes, he's off the rock. He's lying. Like, Labour and Aswad, you're lying, we've seen what happened in it. Labour and Aswad, I love, I love, now, now I love rubbing it in. Yeah. Now I love rubbing it in. Now yeah. I'm saying, chili chili, and I'm like, you know, any other yeah. major celebrities you've done? Alhamdulillah, you, you name, who haven't I done? All praise Allah, all praise Allah, yeah. who haven't I done? Yeah. Look at the list, bro. Yeah. The
and the rappers know this. The ones that I'm with my friends, like a lot of close rappers, like with all my mates. I advise them, say, look, it's not a good thing. Why? Because youngsters look up to them. I don't promote these people, these kind of people, bro. Mm. So I don't post these singers, these rappers, these big artists. You know what I mean? What about boxers? Mm. Big boxers? Boxers, yeah, I've, I've done a few. Done Floyd, done, a, done Floyd. I've done, a, obviously, Joshua. Yeah. I've got a few. I've, I've got a, a Terence Crawford, all these like, I've got yeah. Tank. They're all good friends of mine. But even them, bro. See, some brothers might think can be a bit raw. Look, boxing, bro, they hit in the face. It's haram ultimately, bro. You yeah. can't hit Islam in the face. So that's why I don't really, I don't really push it that much. You know, it's like with the musicians, why I don't push them that much because, because like, a lot of them like tag me and I don't really post their stories because like, you gotta stick to what's true in it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, Allah will provide some way, you know what I mean? Don't matter. Mm. You know, I've had footballers say to me, oh, bro, I've had wrestlers, uh, like musicians say to me, oh, bro, you know, you know, we post and you don't even repost and blah, 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 blah. And why mm. not? I said, why should I, bro? It's, not, it's against my team. But mm. they respect you for it, bro. Yeah. They respect you for it, bro. So let's get it straight, yeah? So you're doing copying for uh, celebrities, athletes. And oh, normal people, and bro. normal people, normal yeah. Bro, <laughs> yeah. I'm here, bro. Everyone. All oh, yeah. my boys, local, all the lads. Bro, I've not even got a receptionist, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is done by me, direct, bro. Direct. I might check the mic phone, I'll show you my, 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 my open list, but if I show you a missed call, you think, what the hell is it going to deal with it, bro? Yeah. That's why when you message me, take ages for me to reply. I don't answer, I always say, can you message me, please? I always do it in a message. I'm a family man as well, bro. I've got three kids, alhamdulillah. I've got two beautiful boys and I've got one beautiful girl. I love my yeah. birdie. It's my daughters, man. Let me tell you one thing. You're not married, not married, isn't it? No, no. Watching you get married, boys, man. No, daughters, guys, daughters. Allah Akbar. Linking it back to the deen. Yeah. Daughters, what did the Prophet say about daughters, bro? Us Pakistanis is jail, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, could you give up? Sosa, Sos, you dungers. <laughs> the Prophet, the Prophet's about my daughters are blessings. Yeah, yeah. Then, oh, bro, you know, you have a daughter. They look at it as if, like, go on, next time, next time you have a book. Bro, I want another daughter now. I've got two boys. I've got Abu Huraira, who's 10, Abu Dhar, who's 3, and I've got Umar Kaya, who's just to Abu one. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I want another daughter, bro. Yeah. Daughter is such a blessing, bro. So my life's around them, so when I finish from you guys now, I'll get ready for, for Asr. I'll go to the park with my kids, go for a walk. You know, yeah, weather's yeah. nice, do the pity, inshallah. Then go see yeah. mom and dad. I'll look after my dad as well, because he's, he's quite ill at that age. So I'll, I'll be a family member, bro. I'll yeah. be home, family, home, family. I'll, just, I'll live a simple life, bro. Yeah. Well, a lot of people think I live a crazy life. I live a simple life. I live a very simple life. I can, I'm, I'm happy. I'm content. Yeah. My Isa is from Allah. My yeah. Isa is from Allah. My Isa is from Allah. My Isa is Allah. Allah, 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 you know, your Izzah is from, from the deen, your Izzah is from Allah. You know, anyone who sees me walk around, when I walk around outside, I keep my head down. I do get people coming to me, bro, can we get a picture, blah, blah, blah. But I keep my head down all the time. I keep, I don't, I don't, I just do my, I, I go shopping late in the night. I don't, I don't want that, you know what I mean? Mm. In case it might get to me. Yeah. It might affect me. Like, oh, you know, look at this. It, it can happen. Yeah. It can happen. There's been times where I've been in dark holes, bro. It's not yeah. always been la di da and ka it's been, yeah. there's been times where I've been in dark holes, like in terms of like, you know, where the dunya's got to me, oh, this is all right, this is, you know what I mean? Slowly the beard gets a bit shorter. You know, slowly, slowly the faith comes, you know what I mean? Slowly, yeah. slowly. You know, like, you know when you you know when you're slipping, bro. Yeah, you know when you you try to justify it. Yeah. You, you you become a hypocrite within yourself. It's okay. It's okay. You can have a little no, you can't have a little chill, bro. You're the inset, bro. Yes. You're dying in a minute. So what motivates you to like um yeah? I got good friends you? around me, I've got good companions around me, I've got very good strong brothers around me, alhamdulillah. I got Ulama that look at my page, bro. You know when mm. I post on social media, go on my go on my laundry clinic, you'll never see a knee posted on it. Because it gets the aura. Yeah. He'll post knees. And I advise brothers this while well, doing the copying. Brothers, don't don't sell out, man. You're not gonna lose you're not gonna lose your clientele by posting the belly button in the name, bro. Have some ghera. Because you're gonna be asking Yomal Kiyama, bro, why did you post that? It's older, brother, man. It was belly button, you can't post that, bro. But the brothers still don't post it. So some say, oh, they, they get upset. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't mind like being it, bro. Come Yomal Kiyama, you can't hang me for it. I don't mind, I've spoken against it. Because, yeah. bro, I, I don't post it myself. Because I know it's against the belly button to the knee. Ankles, back, everything I'll post. Belly button, down to the knee. It's like older as a man, you can't post it, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed. And alhamdulillah. If people, some say, yo, does not affect your work because you know, you're giving me knee problems. I said, Allah provides, bro. Yeah. Allah provides, bro. Allah will make a way for you, bro. He'll make a way for you if you're willing to take that risk, innit? If you're willing to make that kurbani, Allah will make that way for you. Yeah. But some brothers think that they got like, like music. You've never seen music in my videos. Like, yeah. brothers, like, 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 I've seen one, one, brother, one brother is in a similar field and um, the brother posts, uh, posts like songs. I go, bro, I messed him once. I go, bro, can they be a halal pig? Because stuff from what you mean? I go, you can't have a mix of sunnah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look, sunnah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the world was made for, bro. Mm. We can't each, we can't equal a, the dust of the feet that come off his foot, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mm. He's sunnah, bro. And you're attributing music with it. Come on, bro. They can't be a halal pig, they can't, innit? Yeah. A pig's a pig. Yeah. Can you have a gallon, of, a, a gallon of milk and put a drop of piss in it and say, oh, it's all right? Just because the majority is milk. No, you can't, bro. Pull up, please, you You can't do that, bro. You're going to be true to yourself. That's when you find out the real ones are, bro. You advise them, and, you know, but then you, you get that, bro. You get that, but then that's life, innit, Aki? Yeah. You're gonna see that, you're gonna get that, and you're gonna. It's about how true you are to yourself, bro. Ultimately, I know I've done my job, then, bro.
Yeah, so they kind of like. I got scholars who watch my page, bro. Yeah. I can't post without uh, without Ulama, bro. I saw my main I'm clicking account, bro. No, that's that's a big responsibility to give to the Ulama. Yeah. It takes a lot for you to finally give that. But that's yours, isn't it? You build that social media over hundred k followers. You, you you got the so called blue tick. You got the so called uh, f- footballs that follow you. You know you got the so called this. You know it's like you know it's my thing. Oh, it isn't, bro. It's from Allah. It's from Allah. And the mm. Ulama who are the hairs of the Anbiya. Mm. Yeah, the Ulama. If you look at the sun, the chain of the Ulama. The link from the ulama to the teacher to, 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 to the prophet to Jibreel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now if you're not going to give the respons- responsibility to these people, who are you going to give it to, bro? You know what I mean, bro? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, ultimately you got your own, you know, alhamdulillah, we're, we're, we're from the manhaj, you know, we follow the Quran, we follow the sunnah, we follow everything, alhamdulillah, praise Allah, but we don't do it blindly, bro. We do it through scholars, mm-hmm. through ulama, alhamdulillah, and they help you. So I've got scholars here in camp, you know, they're checking on me, scholars, just being the, pra- in the you know, practicing brothers, bro, brothers who pray. That goes back to what I was saying about praying. If someone's not praying, bro, bro, don't, don't be their friend, bro. Don't be the friend. It must sound harsh, bro. You might. Oh, it sounds raw, bro. I'm sorry, guys. You're saying raw. You're saying raw. Bro, bro. you're not praying, bro. You're out of my list, bro. I'll be straight. I'll be straight. You're blocked. Bro, bro, if they don't pray, because <laughs> it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I know it sounds raw. Look, we're not saying. She's now feeling like, oh, the brother thinks they're going to send the comments, watch. He thinks it's better. No one thinks it's better than nobody, bro. Yeah. I'm just telling you how it is because it's going to affect me, bro, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the, the, the shlan comes, ah, oh, give him dawah. You be the better one to give dawah, bro. But they're gonna give you dawah. <laughs> Masala like that, you know what I mean? Freak a you know what I mean? Yeah. When they give you dawah to that way, then what happens? Yeah. So, exactly. How do you deal with comments and like fame? So obviously you're famous, got a big Instagram page. Alhamdulillah. You know, comments, bro, I don't get many idiots on there. Yeah. I don't get many idiots who comment, but I can I just feel trying for something that I don't reply. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. I think TikTok's worse, you know. TikTok, proper quarter TikTok, bro. Yeah. Say juggling TikTok. Oi, 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 oi. You see a lot of people, man. What's the fuck, TikTok? You see people from all walks of life. TikTok, man. they're ruthless, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're cold. Yeah. Bro, TikTok are just junglies, because. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you gotta think, you know what? TikTok, are just, but they're gonna be someone. I don't wanna say raw, but they're gonna be someone close to you, bro. Is it? Really? Who's gonna quit the way, bro, to make an account? To come and terrorize the account. Someone's not happy for him. There's someone in your area. Someone, yeah. like you. someone, someone who knows you. Someone knows you. Don't yeah. want you to do well. What, 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 what would a stranger that, say that? What would a stranger say that? Someone stranger that doesn't know you. Well, don't care, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's close to you. So that means one he's okay. You then he's okay. Islamic group. Then he's stuff like this. Okay, that's a party. You know what I mean? That's what these men are doing. That's the thing. They're like scoring. They ain't got a clue. They got time to go out the way, make a fake account, go out, and then, bro, trust me, they're using fake accounts and they're trying to dishearten you. But as a brother, bro, as an older brother, bro. Make it a means of motivation, bro. Keep mm. on smashing it, bro. That's it. Keep Definitely. on smashing it. You know, I never just get these shirts first. And my pal goes to me, and my mate's at Ulama. He goes, Cam, why do you get these shirts? I go, I'm not a football fan. He's going, yeah, just get them as a memorabilia. I've got about 20, 30 of them in framed. Yeah. Mm. And when you come next time, Michelle, you'll see these will be gone for charity. So yeah. I flip it, I change them over. It just I'll makes it familiar look good, doesn't it? That's it. I'll, yeah. give, I'll give them for charity, bro. So every time they come, they'll be gone. I'll, 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 I'll change them up. They'll be changed. I'll charity, different players. I'll, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, give for charity. Look at my brother, I'm not going to make a coffin out of it. it? <laughs> but for me, it's just to become a, even photos, but I never take pictures of the footballers first. Yeah. I never take footballers. I, look, I, I didn't know. Then my mate goes to me, even when I come on Instagram, let's go back to that. SubhanAllah. Mm. We've got opening different cutting yeah. Now, when I first started, yeah, listen to this. And when, remember, I told people that saying I was lying. Yeah. One of my friends goes to me and goes, Come around, boy, have you heard of Instagram? He goes, have you heard of social media? And I go, now what, what is it? He goes, down on Instagram and take pictures of these guys. Don't tell the world, show the world. Allah Akbar. That's what I went and bloody done, didn't I? Alhamdulillah. Or from Allah, bro. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Kill these people with what? With you doing. Um, Allah will protect you as long as you do your azkar. And attention is not bad towards these people. But you know, when they're bad people, bro, maybe they might learn from that. You know, like you're getting this, you're probably disheartening, bro. When you see these comments come on your TikTok thing, you're like, get that guy, get me. Mm. Block and delete him, bro. Don't even answer them. Block and delete him, Chad. Yeah. Block and delete him, bro. Bob's your uncle, man. But I ain't gonna look it be nice, man. Trust me. The minute you absorb it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I want. They want you to absorb that negative energy. You take it in, whatever you're around is what you become. So, whatever energy you end up absorbing, it'll, it'll, it'll affect your work, it'll affect your field, yeah. and it'll affect you two as brothers. You know, even you two as brothers. Are you, are you your friends, right? Your friends? No, brothers. brothers. Are you brothers? Okay, bro. Yeah. Allah, my brother, can't do that. Much, I'll talk to your friends. <laughs> even better, bro. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, as brothers, make mashallah, you got know, rights over to talk to you all the time. Yeah. You know, who's older? He's older. It's me. It's Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's out here. Yeah? Yeah. Mashallah. Make mashallah, talk to each other, always explain to each other, understand each other. You know, get on the groove, you just, just, just talk to each other and be open with each other. That's you it. know, it's different if you're companions and friends, it can cause problems, but it's okay, bro, alhamdulillah. Yeah. And I keep your, your love and bond strong forever, inshallah. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a net mind, it's a blessing to see brothers who can, you know, you can, you can, you can stick together and that's what you want. Yeah. And it's no one better than family, bro. Yeah. Definitely, man. I've always had a, I had a golden rule, bro. You know, I've got uh, about seven companions who I've had from day one, they all pray, alhamdulillah. These are my day ones yeah. from 4, 13, 14. You know, everyone, school days, yeah. School before
And everyone, you know, we all, but everyone's busy. But yeah. when we do meet, the love never changes. That's real friendship. So you've Not got to understand each other, innit? Understand each other, bro. Yeah. So come on, you're a family. Come, one does taxes, one's here, one's there, one's busy day, one's working day, one's got his own pizza shop, mm. one's working. They're busy, man, with their own life. One yeah. of our boys, obviously, he, he, he's got a couple of wives, so he's busy with that, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't catch him, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, subhanAllah, so, but it's about understanding you, Akhi. It's about having that love and understanding. If you're not going to understand each other, who's going to understand you? Who's, who's going to be there for you? Definitely. You know what I mean? So that's what we're quite raw with that, Alhamdulillah. We're quite yeah. raw with that. So, Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing, man. Being able to have that, and we've got the same friendship, and all pray. We all took Umrah together, most of us. What a, what a treat. We took Umrah together, we took Mashiach together, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. And our, fr- our, 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 our friendship is based upon the sake of, for the sake of Allah. Mm. We always meet up and say, look, and like, I met one of my friends yesterday because I do the, the Arabic, Alhamdulillah. Okay. And um, I met one of my friends, and I was, uh, I've been coming from Arabic class, and uh, I go to him, I go, look, when we meet up after Arabic, let's keep our, our, our effort for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Let's keep our effort for the deen, let's keep our intentions. Allah will give us barakat and khair to do that. Mm. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, that's khair, man. That's khair in every man. Sorry, guys, I go off a bit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, sorry, different man. patterns. You know, life is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, man. But what do you think is like the biggest life lesson you've actually learned? Life lesson, my brother. Alhamdulillah, the biggest life lesson I've learned. Allahumma barik life or, lesson. Or something that you've learned like the hard way. It's a hadith the Prophet A believer is never bit by the same hole twice. Do you understand what I mean by that? Let's say someone does you dirty now. Yeah. Let's say you give someone 300 pounds, yeah. a friend, and he's stung you for 200 pounds. Think of it as you've got him out of your life for 300 pounds. You're going to be stupid to go and give him 300 pounds again. A believer is not one who's naive. A Muslim is strong physically, spiritually, and mentally. A believer does not be fooled, neither does he fool. Oh, okay. A believer never manipulates. He doesn't, he's very straightforward, he's just, he's honorable. Mm-hmm. We're not like the Christians, we don't turn on the cheek. Christian, oh, hit me here, oh, yeah, hit me here as well. Nah, hit me, I'm going to break your chin. Mm-hmm. That's the deen. It's mm-hmm. fair, it's just, it's honorable. But when we shed tears, look at Sayyidina Umar. Could anyone beat Sayyidina Umar? Amir al Mu'minin. If there's ever to be a Nabi after the Prophet, there never will be. Mm. It'd be said in Umar. When he used to put his foot on the mountain, the mountain would stop shaking. That's the level. When he used to, when he put a note in the river Nile, the river Nile started flowing. That's the dajjah of these people. Radi Allah was the one, Allah said in the Quran, I am pleased with you, I pleased with me. Allah has clarified the affair of the Sahaba. These are the companions of the Prophet. Yeah. And we learn lessons from these, Alhamdulillah. And they were never stung. But when it came to crying, bro, he had permanent marks of tears on his eyes. Permanent marks. Because he'd cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He had that. That passion, that just about. Now, as men now, people now, you know, we've become a nation now, especially in our generation now, where we're very, we're scared to be, you know, scared to be open about our emotions. You know, this should be a famous saying when I was young, you know, and I agree with this saying because I see a lot of people uh, get it off your chest. Remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we say, get it off your chest. Bro, it exists. Yeah. If you can talk to your brothers, talk to your brothers, be open to that. Yeah. If you have to let some tears out, let them out, bro. Because if you don't, it's going to eat you up. It's going to yeah. eat you up. And maybe them tears that you need to let out, you let that, them tears. You'll make dua from the heart and you hit the arrow, yeah. arrow straight to the heavens, bro. I feel like sometimes if you've got something in as well, like... Oh, it'll kill you, bro. It'll, kill you. it'll distract you even with other things. Let's say you're you, doing something else. Negative, negative engine. You, yeah. absorb, you start to absorb negative engine. You, you eat you up and, you know, it's, that's the best, biggest lesson I've learned is don't get bit, don't get bit twice. Don't get bit twice. Mm-hmm. Never get bit the same or twice. I think that's... And I can take that principle throughout everything. And hence why I work alone. Hence why I got my own... T- I get people, I want to work, I want to work this. Can we open it up? Nah, I'm all right. Yeah, I've done it my own. I'll put it on. I'll put it on. Alhamdulillah. You know what I that's enough for you. Look, when you start growing, you're going to start getting sponsors that come to you and, you know, brands and all that and say, you know, we're good, man. We're good. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to cause problems, bro. It's going to cause problems. You don't need that, bro. Just do your thing, bro. Yeah. Allah is sufficient, man. Alhamdulillah. So you said you're teaching people. Um, so you're going to have courses. Elite form of therapy. Alhamdulillah. Well, practical first. courses based here? Or practical what? courses. So we're based in the Birmingham. Alhamdulillah. We've, got, we've already got a full class. We're not even promoted. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So what we're, what we're going to be teaching is the gateway to football. Elite form of therapy. That's my therapy, which I mentioned first. Uh, I'm the CEO of it, I found it, so I'm the one who has the right to teach it, elite performance therapy. I'm from the scratch, so you're going to teach people scratch. from scratch. I'm teaching them, but the, with the, the qualification that they're going to have, it's mm. going to be a proper qualification that's going to get them into the world of football, alhamdulillah, Inshallah. if they choose to do so. But anyone can do a course, if you sit at home and expect to fall for the heavens, not, is it? The like same Umar said back to the Sahaba, said Umar goes, um, he goes, the heavens are not going to rain gold or silver, you've got to take the means that Allah gives you. Yeah. Like, we don't have a podcast, you have to physically come here, yeah. we have to physically hold the microphone, yeah. you know, we have to physically look into the camera, we have to talk, we have to, we have to physically set everything up. Yeah. You know, some people say, oh, Joel, any money? Yes, but Allah's giving us an uncle. Yeah. If we sit here now to, 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 for four days in a row, say, oh, book the gear. You have to do some action. The action. Yeah, yeah. action. You've got to take the steps that Allah gives you. Yeah. Allah's, given, Allah's given us an uncle. Allah's given us an, the mindset, the way to go and move forward and do things. Mm. But our people don't want to do that. Oh, any money? No, it's not. You've been lazy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. ultimately, it's the qadr of Allah. Yeah. Ultimately, it's a divine decree, yes, but the means that you take in between, you've chosen not to take them, is not it? you got to try at least. you got to try, bro. you got to try. If you don't try, you don't get it, bro. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that I hate lazy people, I hate that attitude. Oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, gee. Yes, oh, gee, oh, gee. It's not my name, but go and do something in it. You know what I mean? Oh, gee, oh, gee, no, gee, oh, gee. Joke is there. Oh, see, gee, oh, gee. Oh, shut up, man. Get out of here, man. Get out of the job, man. You know what I mean? Just bad people. Bad energy, then people are. I don't work with them. People don't. I'll just keep it short and snappy. I just, I just, I ain't got time for that energy, my brother, man. How, how's life in Birmingham, anyway? All places yeah. like Birmingham is beautiful, man. Islamically, we've got a good environment. We've got a crime. We've got our problems with the youth. You know, we're make it easy. We're trying our best to work with the youth and trying to get them off all that, inshallah, with the will of Allah. We do try and work with the youth and try and get them off. We've got a lot of gun crime, a lot of stabbings, shootings, we've got a lot of madness going on. But hopefully, inshallah, they'll, they'll, they'll learn. They'll learn. They'll learn. Inshallah, one day they'll learn. You know, and it's a shame some have to go to prison for a very long time. Some have to go for like 25, 30. They're not scared of it no more. When mm. we were young, we heard jail, like, oh, yeah, jail, Dubai, you know what I mean? We should get yeah. scared. There's other better arms. But with the youngsters, it was, um, it was it, these youngsters are different. They, they, they live a rap lifestyle, a grime lifestyle. And I've told a lot of the grime artists as well. That's why, that's why I don't repost them. Like Ibn Kaim al Jawzi, Rahim al Ta'ala, he said something amazing in the, in the, in the book, Tablis Iblis. He mentions in the book, uh, The Devil's Deception, it's called. Amazing book. Get it if you can, guys. But it's thick. It's a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. So Ibn Kaim al Jawzi, Rahim al said, he goes, Music is the alcohol of the soul. Look how deep that is, bro. Like the example, women, men, you go to your car, you put a Shah Rukh on, Kabi Kushi, Kabi Gum, you don't remember your ex, bro. Shouldn't it? Yeah. You remember Lost on, you remember your ex? You put a gang song, you want to go bang someone out? You yeah. put two bags on, you want to go shoot someone? Yeah, it's it's alcohol good. of the soul. It plays with your algorithm battles in your body. It's deep. Yeah. It's like that, even like some of these so-called Rashida artists, you know who you are. Simple as that. You know exactly who you are. And really, bro, they're, they're singing songs, bro, and they're trying to justify it. Nasheed, they're trying to water the dean down. They're trying to water it down. They're trying to justify it as if, like, you know, it's a Nasheed. No, it's a bro's music, bro, clear cut. Mm. How can you say that it's a Nasheed, bro, when it's, when it's music, clear cut? And they're singing it in different patterns, like, oh, I love you, and really... They copy some bloody no song, way. Like, is that some bloody Terry song, bro. You know what I mean? And, you know, no makes sense. Is that, is that in the Nasheed? A so called Nasheed has that Nasheed because yeah. Nasheed's a beautiful, honorable, bro. Nasheed's a, you know, praising the Prophet, Sallam, you know, praising Allah and His Messenger, you know, talking about Sahaba, stories, lives of the Prophet. And these are changing musical songs into. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Who they fooling, bro? Who they fooling, bro? Come on, man. Yeah. Who they fooling? Because, I mean, yeah. they fool themselves, bro. They're making themselves look stupid, but, you know, it's one of the things, my dear brother, isn't it? It's one of the things. We can't win with all of them, man. Yeah. Mashallah, yeah, you got a successful business. Mashallah, like, hey, just keep us focused, yeah. inshallah. Make us more kamyabin in the sake of Allah is Allah is messing and keep us uh, sincere in the path of what we're going on. And most importantly, Allah keep us upon a path where we can help benefit the people mm. with no strings attached for dua. Where we can help aid each other as believers. The believers were like one component, one body. You know, when one feels pain, we all feel pain. You know, yeah. when one has good, we all should have good. Going back quick on for a go, sorry, but I know I'll link it back to quite a bit of a Quran hadith, but it may be beneficial, inshallah. Said the Umar when he, someone at the time when, he, when said the Umar's empire is like conquering far and wide, he got very, very far. And somebody brought some bought him some sweets from a different country. He looked at it, he's like a middle of bro. He looked at it, he goes, How can I eat this from all Umar starving? You want me to eat these, these king sweets and you know, these, these Persian sweets and you want me to eat this from the Umar starving? And he never let it, bro. This is the men, bro. Men of honor, bro. You know, I think because I've been around these guys, you know, yeah. I don't think you don't bother me, you know. You get used to it. I think I'm not going to run, but I was a big watch collector once when I was a very big watch. I was a big roller collector. Yeah. I was a big roller collector. And uh, I'm just one day I woke up and thought, Pff. You've seen all the celebs, you've been with all the yeah, celebs. Bro, it don't mean anything. Wallah, they're the most depressed people you're ever going to see, bro. Yeah. Bro, they've got no life, bro. Whoa. I feel sorry from there, I'm just depressed. Whoa, whoa, what do you think makes them like depressed? Bro, they got all the money they want. They can't even go out for a cup of tea, bro. We can go out now and get a cup of tea, bro. Yeah. They can't even do that, bro. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Come on, you can't, is that life, bro? Is that life? Hey, you're right. You're, it's not really. They're the most depressed people you're ever going to see, bro. Dunya priorities are changed. People, you know, contentment's a beautiful thing, guys. Mm. And when you're content, Allah will make the smallest of things beautiful for you, man. Make yeah. it very, very nice for you. Make it beautiful. Make it uh, beneficial for you, inshallah, you know. Yeah. So what makes you, like, content in life? Deen, bro. And my family. Yeah, yeah. And my loved ones. And making dua. That, I just want to die with the shahada, man. I just want to die as a good Muslim, bro. I'm sure. not perfect. I'm far from it. I've got a lot of sins on my plate that you don't know about, guys, you know. Mm. And you shouldn't expose your own sins because if Allah's put pardon on you, you should... You should keep part on yourself, you know what I mean? Definitely, yeah. You know, because when Allah's put, uh, put a veil over you, keep the veil over yourself. I've got a lot of sins that I'm dealing with, you know, internally, externally. And I make the word that Allah just takes me with, with the demon. I'm in a good state and it takes me in a place where I die with a clean heart where I've not harmed nobody, you know. Yeah. And Allah allows me sometimes uh, with my tongue, Allah, I really want to work on my tongue. I want to work on, you know, sometimes I can, I can, I can say things like, I can use the swear word sometimes. It can happen with human, you know. Mm, make mistakes, and, isn't it? And the haq is haq, bro. Look, my man has a sunnah, bro. I shouldn't be talking like this. Yeah. It's something wrong, you know. So make dua that Allah helps me, you know. You know, why not, why not, like, rather than using the F word, just use freaking it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's better, isn't it? Safe alternative. Safe, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> literally. Or rather than using the, the, the S word, you just shoot, or
because I'm trying to really rectify myself, man. I want to, I want to, I want to become a better Muslim. Man. I want to be good. I'm not Asian. I just want to focus on my family, man. Yeah. You know, I just want to be well, inshallah, man. Inshallah. Make du'a for me, inshallah. Make du'a. So, yeah, in terms of uh, achievements, what do you think like the biggest like achievement in your life? Taking my umrah last year. Mm. Took my umrah last year. Hamdulillah. Yeah. Hajj, yeah. Hamdulillah. Did Hajj everything myself. Umrah I normally do every year, but I took mum last year. Inshallah. And I took my mum. Hamdulillah. I want to take my dad, but it wasn't too well. May Allah make it easy for me. I'm taking this year, inshallah. Uh, I want to take my but taking my umrah was a beautiful thing, man. Taking yeah. my and even now, generally. Even now, I, I tend to do a lot of khidmat for my parents. Mm. So all my spare time is with my mum and dad. Like now when I finish from you guys, I'll get ready for Asr, I'll shoot on, I'll leave two minutes away, shoot on, probably have a shower, get ready. Then I'll go to Masjid, come back, and I'll take dad for Costa, for a coffee. He likes it. <laughs> take Costa, you know, we've got like a shop centre at Fort. Yeah, I'll yeah. take him and sit I just sit there in the sun, let him have a Costa. Just get his mind off it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let him have a Costa, you know, you can sit there and talk to him for a bit, take him for a little drive, maybe a walk, you know, take him because he's got bad knees and everything. Then I'll just drop him home. And yeah. just, just do khidmat on my family, you know, it's very. Mum's still healthy, Alhamdulillah, but dad's very, getting very. Up and down, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm so, sure that's good. I think that's the yeah. same answer as a few other people, isn't it? Yeah, it's very taken important. Parents are very, yeah. very important, man. You know, parents are very important. Like, I mean, your parents taking my mum, my mum has been very ill, and it was nice to take him. So, uh, do you class yourself as successful? I'm this? not successful until I made the Jannah, bro. Uh, so that's just, your success? Yeah, that's success, bro. Until I please Allah as a messenger, bro. Not success, bro. Far from, bro. I'm just a man on a journey, I think, man. Just a man on a journey. All this I didn't want, bro. You don't realize all this I didn't want, I didn't chase. Mm. I didn't want this, bro. Yeah. This just happened. This is happened. People don't yeah. realize that. Like, people say, Cam, you got a big network. I work with the royal families of Kuwait, of Qatar, of, 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 of these royals. I work with them, bro. I'm mm. like, level where it's closed. I don't know how it happened. Like, Does it get mm. to you, like fame? I don't let it because I, 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 I've got good people around me. I've got yeah. ulama around me. Even though people are never happy, you can't keep people happy. They're like, oh, it's arrogant. You can never keep people happy. Yeah, mm. you can't. You can't. That's just the nature of the world. I'm accepting that. You can't please that everyone. I got a bad eyes, man. I can't even see you all the time. I got a driver, a driver, a driver, a gold flash shield, my missus. Yeah. I, 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 I used to love my flash cars, I used to love all that. Something that's a bit of a fit line for me, but I, I don't want to because of the fact that at the moment it's just, um, there's more to life than that, you know. Yeah. And I find it very stupid and cringy about living in a 91 house and I'm driving a 200 gun car, it just doesn't make sense. Bro. Just, we haven't <laughs> got a driver, bro. You know what I mean? If you're not home by six o'clock, bro, you can't buy parking. It's just stupid, bro. Yeah. Driver on the engine in the seat, bro. It's ridiculous. Mm. You know, you got. House which are worth 90 grand and you got cars worth 200 grand. Does that add up, yeah. does it? What's going on, bro? Yeah. Get your priorities right, you know what I mean? And uh, generally, because my kids are young as well, I don't want them to see the lack side of life as well. Clothes, I like my clothes, I do like my garments, but not to a point where it's like, um, it's always it's overtaking my life. Sets, it's not yeah. to a point. I'm more of a Juba guy, I just do my thing, you know what I mean? Casual, Take, like, yeah, casual, casual, you know, casual. I got covers the flow. I like my tracks, just don't wear them. I like, I'm sponsored by Nike, I'm actually sponsored by Nike. Sponsored by Nike? Sponsored by Nike, alhamdulillah, and that way, so Nike was a, and then the brothers are free and I, you know, I'll put you, I'll go buy them tomorrow, you'll have a free mason, then I'll let you know. What did they say? What was that? Free mason, I'll let you know. That's what they'll come out with, isn't it? Hey, father, you know. Bro, when you're the sponsorship, tell me you're not going to take them, bro. You get it, bro, look, sponsorship or not, bro. The only difference is they give me free trainers. Yeah. That's what I say, oh, brother, you're sponsored by them. Sponsored, bro, these mans are hypocrites, bro. These mans are the biggest hypocrites going, bro. You know you see him in the shop and straight back in the latest nights, bro. I'll get him free. What's the difference? You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's a different, but that's the world we live in. You never can get you happy, bro. I've accepted that. People, and I can see the ones who are real. I can, Allah's given that ability to go. I can kind of, you can't see what's in the heart, but you can see what's apparent. You yeah. can judge a man from what's apparent. You can see the ones who are real. You can just see, you can get the energy from them. You can just see behind your back, they're putting it in <laughs> with my mind and behind your face. Ah, oh, brother, sound like going, you can't make it. You don't like me. You don't talk to me, bro. Don't chat to me, bro. You know I mean, you don't like me. Just don't chat to me. It ain't, ain't that hard, is it, bro? You don't pay my bills. I don't pay your bills. You know I mean, you live your life. I live my life, and that's how we go about the business. But you can't win with people like he. Like yourself, I'm my body. You're doing your bit. I'm gonna be happy with you, bro. But don't let that dishearten you, bro. Mm. Don't let that. My brother, Akhmed Yakub. You know, it's my cousin, my family. Big up, Akhmed. Big up, Akhmed. It's my family. It's my cousin. Akhmed, my my guy, man. Come on, Akhmed. Defense for every offense. Akhmed is definitely defense for every offense, man. I should have known him a couple of years ago. <laughs> Stuck a lot. I mean, <laughs> I mean he's, a, he's, a, he's a family man. He's one of the boys. He's his family. And like he says, bro, the amount of people that hate him, bro, because he likes to find the stuff in life, bro. He's worked hard, bro. His family worked hard, bro. They worked very, very hard. They're, they're my neighbors in Pakistan as well. No, definitely. Yeah. Have you had any like struggles in your life? We all have struggles, bro. We all have struggles. No. Child was a struggle. Lifestyle was a struggle. You got my really confident. My dad was an orphan. My father was an orphan. My dad, his parents died very young. His uncle brought him over as a young kid. And I actually posted a picture yesterday on my social uh, when my dad's cleaning my, on my granddad's grave. Yeah. And uh, my dad's very, very thankful for that. You know, he, uh, he was an orphan, bro. He had nothing. So I remember having a lot of siblings as well. And then it was very hard. We never had everything. But dad done well in terms of like he got into the property at a young age. Mm. He done well. And he, he done well. And he made it easy for us. And I'm the, we were content. We were, we were
I'm mid thirties now, so everyone's bored. We're doing our promotion. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're doing the entry clinic. So you're going international as well. You like work uh, abroad? Already, I'm doing international. I'm doing Spain, Italy, France, uh, Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait. Qatar, sorry, I'm going to Qatar very soon. I've got a good friend of mine in Qatar as well. So, but I've got, I'm linked to a few royals and ambassadors in Qatar already. Yeah. So I'm pretty much everywhere to be feel already. So but people want to get something done, they can just contact you what, via Instagram. A lot of people just message me or contact me via Instagram, and I've got uh, I do get back to you eventually. I do take a bit of time. Mm-hmm. This is my, I'm a bit. My dad, but I do, but I do eventually get back to you, Alhamdulillah. And yeah, man, just contact me or just land down or just, it is what it is, man. Just, just fly by, man. Just whenever you're ready, I'm here, man. Inshallah. But well, what about like, any advice you'd give to like the youngsters? Thank you, guys. Build your lives, man. Guess me. Wallahi, lads, man. Don't throw lives away, man. Imagine doing one wrong move and you're getting 35 years. Well, we're 2023 now. 2023, yeah. Imagine coming out in 2056, the age of 62. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that over what? He gave you a dirty look. The guy gave you a dirty look. And you want to do 50 years in prison for that? Mm. Mom, so far, you're not, not going to go through marriage, you're going to go through nothing. You're going to lose that and all that. Over what? A dirty look. Nah, man, nah, man. Just, just build your life. Because all these young kids, bro, they don't want to be in this, man. They don't want to be in this peer pressure. You've got to be brave if you say no on it. Yeah. You've got to be brave. You'd rather go to that one moment of, Oh, he's a P, he's this, is that, you know, he's weak, he's this. You'd rather go to that than go to jail and do all the hardship and go through all that headache of stress and put your family through all that. And to save you know, from a lot of you. Know. Yes, I used to get arrested all the time when we were young and I don't know how it feels, man. You know, when we were young, always getting arrested and always here and there and messing around and, you know, it's just stress among them. I feel like it's who, you, who you're around as well. Had this the perfume, isn't it? Had this the perfume. If you go to a place where they sell perfume, you're going to smell a musk. Mm. If you go to a blacksmith, you're going to come out with black marks on you. Yeah. If you sit here with me eventually in the clinic all day, if you need to have a copy done, you sit here with me all day, you're going to have walks out, you're going to you know, where's this drop called milk come from? Yes. In the atmosphere. Whatever more hole you're in, have you be? That's what you become, man. That's what you become. is very important, man. So you got to learn to say no, man. As a young kid, you got to learn to say no, man. you got to learn about your deen, learn about your, learn about the Sahaba, learn about the Prophet Sallam, learn about Allah's message, learn about Tawheed, learn about religion, learn about why we're here, purpose, understand, you know, bring prayers, make prayers fundamental. But if your prayers aren't changing your life, then there's something wrong in it. Hmm. Your prayers are like, you know, meant to change prayers your life. Prayers are the key to yeah. success. It's everything, my dear brother. Salah, if you haven't got Salah, it's a belief. It's as bad as it sounds, it might sound harsh, but it's a belief. The difference between belief and disbelief. Yeah. I feel like some people get disheartened as well when, let's say, they're doing one thing wrong, but they will make, like, they'll think that I can't pray now because I've done this or done that. The best one was, bro, when we were young, we used to hear, oh, no, Mars, Jolly, Dali, no, Mars, not Brisbane, Energy. Who gave you all that nonsense, bro? Yeah. Oh, you can't pray for 40 days because you have disbelief. Who said you can't pray? Yeah. You can't pray when you're talking. This Bobby, bro, because they just scared us away. This Bobby, this Bobby used to make us believe that we can't do this. Is Bobby Oh, Charlie, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to Mazin Morning because you're You know, you can't smoke, you can't pray when you're intoxicated, of course, but of course, when you're at the buzz, you can pray. How you meant to make Toba then? Hey, hey, what's up? I had one guy come to me and goes, Bro, he had to pull out his phone. I go, You're a brother, I was talking to him, he goes, Bro, I'd love to pray, but I can't, bro. I can't pray for his phone. 400 and something. I said, Huh? He goes, 40 days, isn't it? Every time I have a spliff, it's add 40 days on. I go, What the fuck? I go, who told you? I go, who told you? I go, the Imam with the local mosque. I go, no, no one back, back home, Imams, no knowledge of deen. No one ever get any money to make him the Imam. Do I teach you Alif Ba'ata, I teach you Alif Ba'ata, I teach you Alif Ba'ata, probably, bro. Yeah. Cultural deen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cultural deen, cult- more, culture. Culture. more culture, bro, all culture. All culture. It's the best yeah, yeah. place is the Quran. Just read the Quran. Quran is the you never go wrong. It's original, isn't it? Stick to Quran is the one original, it's pure. Yeah. It's been dissected by the ulama done the work. Follow the path of the Sahaba, you know, you never ever go wrong. We've got ulama, stick with colors, you know, I'm the, that's a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? You've got English translation, read it in English. Oh, read it, bro. Quran. Any, any, any language? Any language? This day and age, you've got your phone. Like, Quran, and I'll give them, like, some players of mine, Portuguese, some Italian. Mm. You know, and I'll give them grants in whatever language, whatever they need, I'll just give to them. And they read it. It's easy I'm to sure. access as well now. Oh, bro. It's on your phone, bro. It's on your phone, yeah. <laughs> it's every, bro. You know what I mean? It's every way. It's just, we've lost Qadr for the Quran. We've lost respect and connection for the Quran. We've lost that other for the Quran. We've lost that that, 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 era, that, that, that love. Does money buy happiness? Ah, uh, never. Never. The more you got, the more horrible and wicked you become. Hmm. Was the Prophet rich? You could have had the whole world. Islamically, we allowed money. Nothing wrong with having rich. But it becomes a big test. I've been around money, bro. I've been around door. I've been around like paper when it's come around and you think, whoa, it can change. And it's hard to part with, bro. Sometimes you think, you know, I've worked. But when you got less, alhamdulillah, contentment. You, you live, live, live good. But I've been around man's who are doing 204, 500 grand a week, bro. You not conduce some of them, bro. You know, some of these footballs, you not conduce there, bro. When you, for a footballer to give you an invoice, bro, you got to make him pay you then and then in cash or make him transfer then. And then. If he says, I'm going to transfer to you, you're not getting it for a year, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor leisure. 
That's a seed, bro. Miserly. Really? What's the last thing in the Quran about the miserly? People talk a bit miserly. Mm. Like, at least the Prophet about miserly. Stingy. Yeah. Right? Towards like the thing. That's so, funny, man. So they, they say uh, the money is the root to all evil. Do you believe that? Uh, no, nah, because it can be used for good as well. Mm. So I don't think the root to all evil, but I think it, it's, if you're not around the right people, and if you're not around people of substance, so people are going to help you and, you know, brothers will help you and advise you. And if you're not of those who are willing to take advice, then you suck, bro. You suck. You suck. Oh. Why, why do pretty women want you for? For donate, bro. Yeah. You see them, bro. Go on these gold digger pranks. You see them? Well, when you, hey, yo, I don't know. You see them, you press the button. I've seen some crazy ones, bro. Yeah. And they come running back to his car. Money in it. Money. Yeah. Money. Oh. My friend was with this woman. A quick one for you. Go on, my friend. This is for all you guys on relationships. My friend was with this woman, yeah. And uh, he was with this girl for about two and a half years. Got toxic thing. Work with her. Nothing. And he reduced down from, um, from, I think it was one of them Lamborghini Uruses. Them, no, you do the posh Lam Aki's like, Aki's got the Lambo Uruses. Four by four, yeah. Four by four, yeah. them new Lamborghinis. Yeah. So we had, he had this when he first came out about two and two and a half years ago. He had this Lambo and then obviously he goes, Cam, the finance is killing me. I'll go look at his interest. Don't get involved in finance. Scrap it. Chord, if you ain't got the money, forget it, man. If you ain't got, borrow the money to the boys and pay them back, you know what I'm saying? He goes, I oh, know, but the interest, I'll go look at the interest. You know what I'm saying? Where's your wallet? That's the message we got. We can't win with interest. You know, it's no good for us to stay away from it. Yeah. So he's going to come right, get got it. Bro, the minute he scrapped his car, his girl left him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> she goes, yeah, bro. He goes, boy. He goes, chinga. He goes, chinga. My shirt is tight, you know. He goes, do you like me to see him? I'll go, my bro. You were going to marry this girl, bro. He's only, for you. He's only there for your car, brother. Yeah. She only wanted your car, you know what I'm saying? And hope, chara. He goes, Lamborghini, you just buy. I go, bro, she would have weighed you in, bro. That wasn't a wife, bro. That was, that was a death trap, bro. So I like, but Allah made a, made a, showed you many ways. Yeah. And he goes a bit hurt, blessing because he goes, he claimed he loved her, you know, love what is love, it can't be. Don't make sense, bro. Love. Sometimes things happen for like the best. Alhamdulillah, he may have married her, bro. As soon as he got rid of his Lambo, she just she was, she was like, yo, I can't be sure you're broke. Yeah. I'm married from back home. I'm from back home, do that. I'm the best thing I did to be fair with you. Best thing, best, best thing I ever did. I mean, I, like, some people agree, some people don't, but when I, when I got married, bro, I didn't see my wife properly. She's like 15 minutes before I got married, bro. Mm. Look at that. Love grows, the arranged marriage, love grows. Yeah, you're just scared of arranged marriage now. Yeah. Here, bro, love marriages, they don't work, bro. As bad as it sounds, it's fitna. Arranged marriage, love grows. You develop together, you grow together. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you grow together. You, you build together, you cherish, you blossom together. You start to know each other. You start to love things about your spouse. And you start to you know, love things about you. And, you know, you start to grow. You start to develop. You become together. You know, you become grow at one, yeah. you know. I think it's good because with, with the, with the, in my days, we used to obviously do the visa paper and all that stuff. You have to speak on the phone for about six months. First. So you get to know them and, yeah. you know, it's nice for everyone. I don't think a lot of youngsters do a rate Pakistan marriage or do they? Or not many. Yeah, not it's not many. Easy. It's many love marriages. Yeah. Oh, for you look at the rate because you're starting with how many? Starting with the last two. It's not first. It's not like anyway. Is it? It's not perfect. You know what I mean? It's not higher blessings in that. You can't get like I would say. There can't be a halal pig. There can't be a halal pig in it. Mm. Like if you got and a lot of men now are the youth as well. They're not real men. Men they're the youths. I'll be straight. They're not real men. The youth basically what the youth is a man who has no protective jealousy over his woman. Uh, the youth the problem said that you know the the, the one of the worst of people they've been the pits of fire. Because these men are the men you see in social media with their women, flashing their women and saying, look at this, this is my wife. They want their women to look fit in front of other men. They've got no protective for a jaw and jealousy over their women. Now, a real man, a real man has that thing over his wife, protecting him. And a real, a real woman loves that. A real woman doesn't want a man like, hey, let me hold the door. She wants a real man, a yeah. gritty man, man, a man who's a proper man. And you can only be a proper man to the dean. Uksum billah, when you've got a real man on the dean, you can't look him in the eye, bro. I've got brothers around me, friends around me, I can't look them in the eye for longer than 10 seconds, bro. They've got that child about them. Mm. They've got that oomph, but they're fear, but they're firm. Mm. They're not oppressors, they're not zalims. Yeah. I love on to that. Alhamdulillah. You want a proper woman, she's going to look for a proper man. You want a woman like that, then you're going to get a man like that as well, Allah. Mm. I mean, if you want a woman, you like I will say to everybody, you can't marry the Shishi Lange girls, bro. You can't marry from, you know, you can't marry the Shishi Lange girls, bro. Must sound harsh, bro. Sorry for the brothers who have ended up bagging girls from there, bro, but. Bro, you met me in a nightclub, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? It might sound harsh, bro. And brothers won't like me. Like, 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 bro, say you're too. Nah, it is what it is, isn't it? That's my view. It's my opinion. That's up to me. What I say. Saying it, saying it, I'm it's saying true. you what I want to say. You look, I, I don't care about what you think. You know, yeah. especially like some of the women. Uh, yeah. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Don't give your husband a hard time. Don't give me a hard time. I mean. Oh, am I gonna marry anyway? So we would have been before, you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you, you gotta say <laughs> how it is, isn't it? It's what it is, what it is, bro. No point in sugar, Look up, bro. Hey, boy, you know what I mean? I couldn't give a damn, bro. I couldn't care less as long as I heard no one's feelings, bro. I've not said no one's name, I've not said nobody. I also gave an example of people. So if people are offended, see you later, mate. I mean, you don't pay my bills, bro. I don't know all due respect. You don't put food on my table. 
Yeah. You know, you're not the mother to my kids. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not marrying me. So yeah, if you could give one last advice, one advice to the viewers, what would, you, what would it be? Focus, man. <laughs> Focus on what really matters, man. Focus on what really matters. Just yourself, like Allah's no Quran. Hmm. Save yourself and your family from the fire of hell. Be a good example. Be a means for the people, bro. Leave such a blessing for the people that when people say, eh, but not Jing Nasi when you die, you know I mean? Hmm. This guy, be a good means. Be a Sadaqa Jari for your family. Be a Sadaqa Jari for yourself. Be a charity for yourself. You know what I mean? Be a charity for yourself. Yeah. So when you die, people will constantly, like, you know, you know, so my, my, my wife's uh, grandfather, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he was a sanyara in Dadiyal. A very, very, I bet you now, look, you're from London, if you to mention his name to your grandparents, they'll say, ah, oh, how do you know him? Yeah. A very famous sanyara. And to this day, bro, I've never seen him in my life. To this day, people speak about him. I have Buddha come here for Jama. Like, uh, Bud, uh, Pakistan, you know, Buddha. Oh, what are you doing? I say, I say, Sundar, I tell you, I go, ah, Sundar, Tara, you know, I go, Buddha, Rasi. As soon as I say the name, they go, ah, they go, I go, yeah, I'll cut him off before they finish. I go, you're on about him. They go, yeah. Go, How do you know him? Because he's done things that were good for the people, like. Usually, for example, give people a dar, so long dar. Let's say you get your daughters get married, he'll give you like, a tick, you know, take your payment, you got the money. To this day, people are still paying his son. My father, look, we owed you granted this much money. We owed you granted this money. Yeah, good for the dunya, isn't it? Good for the people. He cares for the people. Like, yeah. So if you do good, they'll come back to you. They'll come back at him, man. You just got to be good, man. You just got to be good. You got to be fair, firm, focused. You got to know what you want, man. You got to know what you want, ask, man. You got to know what you want. You know what I mean? You got to know what you want. You got to know where you are, man. Don't, don't, don't shy away. Don't feel the blame the blamers, man. That's it. Yeah. 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 Kept it all real. Um, as soon as I got that's all, that's all you, you get, man. That's what you get with me, brother, man. Alhamdulillah. That's what you get with me. Chairman, bro, bro. Uncut, no cuts, Uncut. nothing. No scripts. <laughs> if you want to cut and done, make sure you check the bro around. The Lion Street Clinic, based in Birmingham. Birmingham, Birmingham, Alhamdulillah. Always, always here, my brother. Thanks for your time, guys, for appreciating. And may Allah put khair and barakah and jazah on your work. And may Allah make it a means to excel for you guys. and Keep you guys to see in your past and make it a means of dawah ultimately as well. Yeah, as I said, yeah, thank you for coming on. I appreciate all your time. Um, and yeah, man, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.